Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, my friends, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. And thank you so very much for joining the Life Signatures Radio, whatever place it is that you're tuned on to this daily show where we talk about purpose, productivity, and resilience. It is a new year, and guess what? We are beginning a new series. And in this series, I want to discuss some things that are important, especially in terms of the other side of the new year. What am I talking about? I'm talking about every time there is a new year, it's a psychological new. People are excited. People go for fireworks and people go to churches. People go to, you know, transition ceremonies and rituals and all that stuff. Excited for what the new year is going to bring. But the flip side is that on the 2nd of January or the 3rd of January, someone looks back and looks at their lives, looks at the man in the mirror, and they just feel some despair. And I want to talk about the five things that will bring despair in the new year with a view of how we can handle them, how we can deal with these things. These are realities. Even as people are celebrating the new year and we, even as people are excited about the new year, there are some who have already reached out to me and they say, I don't have a job, I don't have this, I don't have this going on. There are some in relationships that are not working. There are some that they just wish this new year thing would just bring something new to them. And they look at themselves and they have some form, semblance of despair. Let us just address those things in these episodes, in this new series. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. So when you go back to work after the celebrations of Christmas and the celebrations of the New Year and so on, you are lucky because you're going back to work. Or you're blessed, let me use that word, because you're going back to work. And you come up, you mean you make a conversation with a colleague, you start talking to them and you ask them, uh, how did you cross over? <laughs> you know, we normally talk about crossing over the New Year from 20, 2000, 2023 to 2024. How did you cross over? Or uh, uh, how did you spend your first year's night? And they will start telling you what they did and so on. Several people do the different things, by the way. Some people go for, you know, allocated places where there is fireworks. Some people will booze away. But for the most part, people are sober and uh, they treat this moment as if it's a holy moment. It's a critical transition moment and people will celebrate that I was able to cross over the new year and I did not die. I'm great. I'm grateful that I did not die. They look back and they say they see very many guys who lost their lives, maybe in their family and so on. And so it's it's an exciting it's an exciting time to experience the new year, to cross over into the new year. But then again, even as there are excitements. On that particular night, 31st to 1st, immediately the 1st is gone. That is the holiday, New Year holiday, New Year day. Once it's gone, what happens? The real life continues. <laughs> it doesn't even begin. The real life continues. You kind of pick up from where we left off. 
of course we'll spend some minutes doing the so-called the famous new year resolutions and so on but for the most part your new year is never detached from the old that's why it's important not just to look at life as an event but to look at life as a process there's nothing that is going to be new in the new year whatever you're going to have in the new year is a culmination of what you've been doing all along it is a process it's not an event the new year's events and the results of the new year it's a process that's why the 2nd of january the 2nd of January is the so-called reality check, which you already knew what was going on in your life, even though we're calling it a reality check. The real you faces the real you on the 2nd of January once the celebrations are over. And it's easy for you to look back and just to get despair. And I'm going to talk about that in the succeeding episodes. Whereas the new year always comes with a promise. That's a given. It's one of the most beautiful things. A new year always comes with a promise. Sometimes even a new month comes with a promise. But let me tell you what's the most powerful thing that comes with a promise is the day. That's the most important thing. Even the 13th of June, a new day, comes with a promise. The Bible tells us that the steadfast love of God never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Every morning we get new mercies. So this new year comes with a promise. Something special about this time around is that it also marks the beginning of some new mental disposition. It's, it's one of those few moments in the world where people focus on what they want their life to be. What direction they want to take. One of those few. And as usual, people get excited. And I tell you, there is no time on the face of the earth that spells hope. Like the New Year's Day. Hope at the advent of a new year. It's a psychological mentally, emotionally, and even spiritually, a new hope, a new dispensation, a new promise. We are all excited about the prospects that this new year holds, this new year brings to us. And it's a good thing. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's, it's, we do this every year. There is a lot of power in hope. There is a lot of power in the moment of a promise. It's a motivating thing. It's a very inspiring moment. The only problem I have with this is that this power of hope, this power of promise, this inspiration, it is so fleeting, it lasts so short. If you're not careful, that's why I talked about the second. If you're not careful, the second of, Feb of, of, Ma of January becomes one of the most difficult days because the hope that you had just a few moments ago is now facing the reality on the ground, especially in juxtapos juxtaposition of the processes that you were involved in all along. Not everyone is excited on 2nd of January. There are some people, quite a number, who are experiencing some form of slump, some form of paralysis, some form of despair. They lack motivation. They lack inspiration. And there is this feeling in them that saps out the spiritual strength out of their lives. They look ahead and they say, well, what's, the, what's the meaning of this? What there, what's there to be excited about? And consequently, they do not feel this excitement of a new year. They don't join you in celebrating the new year. And they could be suffering from a personal slump. And I can tell you that nothing steals people's dreams, kills people's momentum, and causes others to give up like this paralysis that 
this slump that people get get in their lives probably you know someone who is not all that excited about the new year probably that person is you probably it's someone in your family so in this series i want us to talk about that person i want us to talk about that person who is not so much excited about the new year and i want us to explore we might not know exactly what is causing them to feel that way but i want us to explore you know i want us to, to identify their their causes of th those slums and I, I want us to see how we can be able to come alongside and and help them help them to get into a process that this process is the one that gives them the hope gives them the momentum gives them the promise so that hopefully when the new year comes they are excited and not not just waiting for the new year but maybe a new day maybe a new month excites them maybe a new quarter excites them it is important for us to know what we are dealing with because our life itself is at stake especially when we are in despair it is possible for us to be paralyzed completely because of despair if you allow this to fester a little bit longer the repercussions could be of a personal detriment of great proportions to you in other words you and i need to arrest whatever situation we are feeling negatively in this beginning of the year as fast as possible as soon as we can we do this by examining the causes of our misfortune the causes of our despair the causes of our slump and one thing that i have to say is that we need to reconcile ourselves to the fact that whatever it is we are facing a slump a despair some analysis some paralysis it can happen just to about anybody at any time you might not be feeling it today but you are a candidate for it probably you know it probably you've been there before in fact probably you've been there before several times every visionary has had such moments every human has had such moments so we are all humans and when such a thing happens to us it is an uncomfortable thing nobody wants to be there it's this destabilizing it's it's demotivating but the best friend that we need zig ziglar gave us this quote he said many people say that motivation doesn't work well so does bathing and that's why we need it daily the biggest friend that you need in the new year and at the dispensation of anything new maybe it's a new year maybe it's a new month maybe it's a new week maybe it's a new day that's the hope that god has given every human being to wake up and to have something new to look forward to even if the old still exists just the gift of waking up and i know some people might have been in such pain both physically and mentally and even emotionally that they they see no point of waking up job in the bible said why is life given to a man who is in despair when i sleep my dreams are terrifying me when i wake up hell terrifies me some people are like job like in that condition but i do believe my friends that as long as we are given a new day i do believe as long as we are given another opportunity it is possible for us to restart at life it is not possible for us to have a breakthrough immediately we restart but i believe that every single day we can draw a line in the sun and we can say that this is going to be new this is a new direction that i'm taking this is a new resolve that i'm taking and i'm going to go for it how long that lasts i don't know but every human being is given that opportunity to make that decision every day so before we can talk about that i want us to start talking about some of the things that will cause us to have these moments 
of despair. And we was going to start talking about those in the episode tomorrow. So stay tuned. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.